Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, if you've watched some of my other tutorials that I've created, you will see that I'm now in a different environment and I'm not using context for this tutorial. Now, there's a reason for this. When we send mail in PHP using the mail function, um, it's not going to work from my local server because I don't have um, the support to send the email um, on my local server. And you may find this as well. You can set this up, but I won't be uh, talking about how to do this on a local server. As with most paid hosting, you will have access to uh, be able to send mail using this function. So let's go straight ahead and send a basic email. So I'm going to create a file now called index.php. I'm going to click create new file. That's created that in here for me. Now I'm going to click on code editor so we can start editing this file. Okay, so obviously the first thing we want to do is create PHP tags. Now, the, the mail function basically looks like this, and it takes typically, um, in the case that we're going to do four parameters, uh, one after that is optional. I think it takes five pa parameters in total, uh, but you can go to the um, PHP manual to look that up. Now, we need to create a few variables in order to put into this function. And the first one is two. This is the email address that the email is going to be sent to. So in this case, I'm going to say alex at phpacademy.org. This is my press and business email address only. So the next is, um, is the subject. So the subject is going to be, um, this is an email. Now we have the body, so this is going to equal some text that we're going to have in the body of the email. And finally, we have the headers. Now the headers, in this example I'm going to show you, I'm going to only work with basic headers. We are just going to use uh, the from field. So what we're going to say is we're going to say from, and then we're going to say someone at phpacademy.org. This is the name that is displayed, um, or the email address, that's displayed from. So if I was, say, sending a mail to someone after they'd registered, after they'd registered, say, uh, with the website and the registration process has completed, I could send it from no reply at phpacademy.org or I could send it from um, admin at phpacademy.org. The email address doesn't necessarily have to exist. So Let's uh, specify a body. Um, let's say we're going to come down here and we'll start saying, in fact, we'll go up here. We'll say um, this is a test email. I'm going to use backslash and N to go to a new line and then backslash and N now to go to new lines. So I'm starting a new paragraph. Hope you got it. Okay, so now what I need to do to actually send the email is use the mail function and then pass these arguments um, to actually send the email. So the first one you need to specify is who it's to, so the recipient's email address. Then you need to specify the subject of the email. So our subject is this is an email. Then you need to specify the body. So our body here is equal to this is a test email. We go down a new paragraph, which is equivalent to two lines, and then we say hope you got it. Now what we need to do is give the headers, and there's plenty of information that we can pack into here, but for now this simple mail function tutorial, just giving you an idea of how it works, I'm just saying from someone. So this is the name that is going to be displayed when we pick up the email. Now this is all well and good, but what happens if the mail function doesn't work? Well I'm going to enclose this in an if statement and say if mail, then do something here. So I'm going to come in and say email has been sent and I can say else there was an error sending the email just in case the mail function fails for one or more reasons we can uh, process this and say echo there was an error sending the email otherwise email has been sent we can even even say email has been sent to and then specify the to variable that we've um, created up here. 
So we need to run and test this now. So I'm going to uh, log into my email account and uh, we can send this afterwards.